So if you've been watching How to Drink for a while, you've probably heard me mention my Twitch account in, oh, I don't know, every video ever. One of the things I do every week over there is I host a weekly TTRPG actual play with some friends of mine. Basil Hayden's thought it would be really cool for me to share with you guys what kinds of things I'm doing to stay in touch with some friends and maintain some semblance of a healthy social life. And when I suggested sharing what game prep and running a session over the internet looks like, much to my infinite surprise, they thought it sounded really cool. So, I mean, huge, massive nerd thanks to Basil Hayden's on that one. First things first, I need some coffee. And actually, I happen to be out of that, so that means I run to my local roasters. Since the pandemic hit, they've instituted a curbside no-contact policy, so you call your order in over the phone and tell them when you'll be there. When you pull up outside, they take your card through the window and come back with your coffee. I miss hanging around the coffee house and mulling over a cup with a muffin or something, but I don't mind how much time this is saving me either, so win some, lose some, I guess. I typically brew a six cup pot. Using the supposed ideal water to bean ratio, I weigh out 42 and a half grams of coffee. Is that actually ideal? I don't know. I suppose I could do some kind of multi-week long matrix study plotting coffee dose weights on one axis and water quantities on the other one and test every conceivable water to coffee ratio imaginable. But then, taste is subjective and varies from day to day and the weather changes and the equipment is probably changing as it degrades over time and who knows how accurate that kind of process would be anyway. I'm gonna leave that to some other YouTubers. Personally, when I can eliminate a variable in a recipe like this, I jump at the chance. 42.5 grams to six cups of water, you say? Sounds fine by me. I'll worry about the other stuff, like how coarse or fine my grind should be, uh, roughly here, by the way, and which mug I'm gonna pour it into. I don't typically put anything in my coffee, so we are done. And now, writer's block. I am totally and completely susceptible to writer's block. It's actually a huge problem for me. It affects every aspect of how to drink, not just running cyberpunk. Fortunately, there's about a million other things to worry about when you're running a game using a virtual tabletop for an audience, so I get to procrastinate on the writing front for now. I wanted to add a couple of extra scene setups in OBS, that's open broadcast software, which is the combination live switcher and stream encoder I use for my Twitch content. If you're not familiar, it's not like some obscure or esoteric software. I think pretty much all streamers are using OBS. I wanted to create a couple of extra camera setups and also adjust the compression settings on my guest mics and good. Okay, now down to the writing, gotta do this. Well, I know this session will definitely take place at least part in that nightclub, and I haven't finished setting up that map yet, and a lot of times that kind of thing will feed back into the writing process, so okay, okay, let's, let's do that instead. I use Foundry VTT as the virtual tabletop I run the game on. I had zero experience using a VTT before COVID-19, in fact, we were all set up to run our game stream with all of us in my home sitting around the table together. Then, like the week before I was set to launch the stream, COVID hits, and I needed to pivot on the spot to doing it all remote. It has been a pretty bumpy road to get this all straightened out, but I found Foundry pretty early on in the process and it's been great. It's system agnostic, so we could run D&D on it and now we can run Cyberpunk on it and it's it's got some great features too. All right, that's pretty good for the scene. Back to the important stuff, the writing. And sometimes, Sometimes you gotta go get a little inspiration. So, I head to a, uh, a park I like, stretch my legs, get some fresh air, avoid writing, avoid writing, you know, that kind of thing. So at 7.30, I get all the players logged in for what we call sound check. Show doesn't go live till 9 p.m., but this gives me enough time to see if everything is still working the same as it was last time and then fix it if it isn't. You would be surprised how often it isn't. We were running into some issues with NDI sync timing for a while there, and happily I figured out a solution to that. We use OBS.Ninja to carry our video chat. It's a web-based tool developed by a single guy, as far as I know. Still being developed, actually. For the specific use case of bringing remote guests into a live stream over the internet, it is absolutely incredible. I, I think it would cost me thousands of dollars to replace it with another piece of software or hardware. 
Now that all of that is looking good, I've got about an hour to show. Sometimes if I'm caught up on my writing and really ready to go, I will actually get into the bar, turn the show on early, and hang out with, uh, for about an hour with the audience and answer questions about where we are in the story so far. But uh, <laughs> I've got a lot of blank pages here, so I think I better buckle down and write. It's close to showtime, and I usually like to have a drink with me when we kick that off. I'm gonna go make a kind of coffee old-fashioned, one of my go-tos for the show. I build it over ice in the glass. It's gonna be one part Basil Hayden's, one part coffee liqueur, a little simple syrup, a few dashes of cocoa bitters, and if you got it, throw an orange twist on it. Settle down into the chair and check in with the guests and count them down until we're live. And Mr. Friend, the net runner, John, who plays... Uh, it's really important to keep in touch with friends and family, even more so now that it's so difficult. I don't know about you, but a weekly gaming group has always been a pretty huge part of my social life, and even though it stinks we can't all sit around the table like we used to, it's pretty amazing we can keep things going over the internet like this. So, um, from how to drink and Basil Hayden to you and yours, I hope you guys are having a lot of fun and, and rolling dice and sticking together and, and uh, still socializing with your friends. So stay safe out there, guys. We're going to get through this thing together, one day at a time, somehow. I want to thank Basil Hayden's again for sponsoring this one, and I hope you liked it. Let me know if you did or you didn't in the comments. Uh, I know this is a huge departure from the normal how to drink stuff, but hey, if you like regular how to drink, there's a lot of those videos out there. You can check them out here good stuff. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching.